Okay, just want to give you a quick synopsis of the very first phase of the inspection so that you can see where we've been. We still have a long way to go here, but I wanted to get uh, some video footage for you uh, because you're not able to be here and I thought this might be helpful. Uh, cracks you see in the driveway, those are pretty common. If you look just about anywhere in the neighborhood, uh, neighbors have them. Concrete's going to crack. Florida has very sandy soil, so unfortunately, wherever concrete sits, no matter how well it's done, typically over some period of time, you're going to have what's called typical curing or settlement types of cracks. The key, keep them sealed so that water doesn't continue to penetrate and move the soil underneath because they will worsen over time. And when that occurs, eventually concrete repair will be necessary. Your water meter comes in at the left side of the house. You can see I'm standing on the left of your driveway right next to this pole, this light pole. Okay, and if we walk towards the garage and we go to the water heater at the back wall, this is where you're going to see your main shutoff valve, okay? This is the valve right here. And when you turn this, basically that's what turns the water on and off. So that's your main valve. Okay, one of the things that I noticed is uh, something we see on probably six out of ten homes in Florida um, is there's no gutters installed at the roof and you can see the amount of erosion on the side of the building. And on a little side note here, we can't run the irrigation. The panel's not functional and there is a leak here at the backflow preventer. You can see that that's wet right there. Okay, but back to the erosion and the gutters, I mean essentially you need to get control of this side of the building and the other side where there aren't any gutters to control the water runoff from the roof because you can see it's causing a lot of erosion and over time it will affect the construction of the building and you can see they've already had a decent amount of cracks in the stucco now that could be typical stucco cracks or it could be from uh, stress on the building from uh, just typical settlement at this point but if this is neglected over time, it can certainly become an issue. Uh, we also, in the first couple of minutes we were here, took a look at the, um, the main shutoff disconnect panel, which is that panel right over here. In there, you have a 150 amp breaker, which will allow you to shut the power off at any time if you need to kill power at the building. I also took a look at the um, pool electrical panel, square D panel. I'm running your pool heater right now. You can see that that's on. All right, it's giving you an idea. It's an electric heat pump. Issues I found at the pool, just so you know. Uh, pressure gauge lens is missing. Okay, there is a leak here, right there, at right above the pool pump. Okay, um, the rest is looking to be in fair condition. And the pool hasn't really been maintained recently, so this will be something you'll see in your report. You can see the bottom is dirty. The pool light is not working. Uh, the patio and decking area around the pool don't look bad at all. Uh, looks pretty decent. So uh, that's where we're at. And as we walk around the back of the house, you'll see just a few damaged screens that we have at the lanai. Okay. Hurricane tie down straps. This one's a little loose. That could be tightened. We made a note of that. Um, something you'd want to do just to make sure. Okay. And you can see the other straps are a little bit snugger. Okay, and on the other side of the lanai, there's also another torn screen. Now, as you look at this side of the building, you see the very same conditions. One, uh, there's no control of water from the roof, and, and that has caused the erosion along the foundation. Now, although the grade seems to still slope away from the building, over time, the water runoff will diminish that grade, and it could eventually cause structural issues so we'd want to get a grip on that and you can see uh, if these cracks that you're seeing at the wall were open my recommendation would be to seal them uh, but you could see someone has actually sealed them right now they look like they're typical they're excessive but they're typical the conditions at the exterior those conditions warrant improvement uh, sooner rather than later the reason is because the potential for structural movement would uh, exist and we want to make sure that gets controlled all right, uh, as we walk around, that outlet's just missing its weather protection covering. And we head back into the garage. We took a look at the electrical panel in here. Your sub panel is located at the east side in the garage. And when you look at this, you can see the copper wires are bright and shiny. Your main service entrance, wi entrance wires look very good. 
neutral wires at their bus bar, ground wire at its bus bar, and all the breakers and service conductors that you see there, the branch wiring looks good. Okay, these AFCI breakers here, one, two, and three, became required in 02 for protection of um, uh, bedrooms and devices in bedrooms. Uh, just so you see that, that's there. Water heater, 2005, this thing looks like it's in good condition. And last on my first set of things to go over with you, just to give you an idea, are the air conditioned coils. Now this unit has not been well maintained. There's a little bit of mold at the exterior of the cabinet as well as on the inside. Okay, and on the inside, you really, to see it, you have to kind of get in there, but it's up in there. So that probably should be cleaned. The coils themselves, a lot of rust on the actual metals, but the copper has what looks like typical oxidation in some areas. Okay, so you can see the condition. I would have someone just clean this up. They've not been using a filter. The filter gets replaced here at the bottom, and there's not one installed. Okay, so that would be one of these cases where chances are uh, the coils would need a good cleaning too. So that's pretty much our first go around. Um, we'll take some of the video footage so that you can see what we have here, but overall, uh, nothing that I was not expecting for a home that's vacant, not been lived in, and has been not cared for for a period of time.